Ecclesiasticus, or the wisdom of Jesus, son of Sirach, chapter 27. Many have committed sin for gain, and those who seek to get rich will avert their eyes. As a stake is driven firmly into a fissure between stones, so sin is wedged in between selling and buying. If a person is not steadfast in the fear of the Lord, his house will be quickly overthrown. When a sieve is shaken, the refuse appears. So does a person's waste when he speaks. The kill tests the potter's vessels, and the test of a person is in his conversation. Its fruit discloses the cultivation of a tree. So does speech the thoughts of the human mind. Do not praise anyone before he speaks, for this is the way people are tested. If you pursue justice, you will attain it and wear it like a glorious robe. Birds roost with their own kind, so honesty comes home to those who practice it. A lion lies in wait for prey. So does sin for evildoers. The conversation of the godly is always wise, but the fool changes like the moon. Among stupid people, limit your time, but among thoughtful people, linger on. The talk of fools is offensive, and their laughter is wantonly sinful. Their cursing and swearing make one's hair stand on end and their quarrels make others stop their ears. The strife of the proud leads to bloodshed, and their abuse is grievous to hear. Whoever betrays secrets destroys confidence and will never find a congenial friend. Love your friends and keep faith with them, but if you betray their secrets, do not follow after them. For as a person destroys an enemy, so you have destroyed the friendship of your neighbor. And as you allow a bird to escape from your hand, so you have let your neighbor go and will not catch him again. Do not go after him, for he is too far off and has escaped like a gazelle from a snare. For a wound may be bandaged, and there is reconciliation after abuse, but whoever has betrayed secrets is without hope. Whoever winks the eye plots harm, and those who know such a one will keep their distance. In your presence, their mouths are all sweetness, and they admire your words, but later they will twist their speech, and with your own words they will cause a scandal. I have hated many things, but them above all. Even the Lord hates them. Those who throw a stone straight up throw it on their own heads, and a treacherous blow opens up many wounds. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and whoever sets a snare will be caught in it. If people do evil, it will roll back upon them, and they will not know where it came from. Mockery and abuse issue from the proud, but vengeance lies in wait for them like a lion. Those who rejoice in the fall of the godly will be caught in a snare and pain will consume them before their death. Anger and wrath, these also are abominations, yet a sinner holds on to them.